you've built this business and then you go, I want to go and sell it. Mm -hmm. You're saying that's like the first step of somebody trying to do the valuation Absolutely. of what do you own? What are the assets? So if they come up and go, you you are not protected at all, then you've kind of shot yourself in the foot of yeah. nobody's going to buy your business. That's right. Okay. Well, they might buy it, Jennifer. But if Jenna is smart, Jenna's going to come in and go, eh, you don't have any trademarks filed. I don't know that you've got trade secret policies in place. You don't I have a good handbook. A it's like she does. <laughs> Jenna's like, can you say fire sale? I can say fire sale. <laughs> and it's like, but no, she's like, it's good happen. That's a That's discount. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Because she's going to be like, where's your trademark? And you, you know, think of it too. There's yeah. a concept called, I call it being fishbowl. There's a more technical word, but fishbowls work. <laughs> because if you're using your mark, say you guys are just using it in Greenville. And mm -hmm. it's all you're going to do. We never filed federal mark. If there's a Hello Anarchy podcast out there someplace, mm -hmm. and if they come into South Carolina, we run the chance of them fishbowling us, saying, hey, you know, you guys are in the Greenville market, the Anderson market, the Spartanburg market. That's where you advertise. That's where you're paying for it. And the internet does not count. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm using my trade name on the internet. I'm everywhere. I'm like, I'm season <laughs> top. You're not bad. You're not nationwide. <laughs> You might be bad, but you ain't nationwide. And so what we've got to tell them is, hey, no, you know, this common law stuff's kind of like kissing your sister IP. It's not that fun and probably illegal, but um, <laughs> it's not illegal, but the kissing your sister thing's weird. Um, but you do have to have people think, look, you know, am I protecting this? Because y'all are saying the right thing. If you've got a third party that comes in, there's going to be a nasty female or male version of me going, hey. You know, you don't have anything protected. I don't think you're worth twenty thousand. You're worth ten thousand. You're worth four thousand. All hmm. right, you know, we're going to buy this, but I think your goodwill's been dinged because you don't have the ability to fend off third parties. Mm -hmm. Worse yet, if there is a competitor in the market with you and you're fishbowled, yeah, I mean, Jenna is going to come in and just start like laughing. She's like, "I've got you." Mm -hmm. You know that, or you know, it could be the painful realization of. I can buy the infrastructure, but I'm not going to be able to use the branding. Yeah. And boy, are you mm. really looking at a fire sale then. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, there are ramifications. So like so you're saying there's value in brand? Always. Oh. <laughs> Always. Hey, Loving you, Doug, love for a marketing person. I love person. how the marketers are asking for the easy softballs on this. <laughs> to listen to the podcast, go to hellochaospodcast.com or wherever you like to listen or watch your favorite podcast.